Hello everyone, this is Mint Pesito from The Travel. And yes, before you ask, my nickname is actually the contraction of my first name, Médéric, and Luis Fancy's Despacito. And no, this name is not to be taken seriously. This video is the first official video of The Travel's channel. There have been others, but I did it them all, because, you know, they weren't very good. Uh, the purpose of this video is to lay some important foundations for a project I'd like to carry out, a project that's been close to my heart since I was a little boy, uh, that of setting off an adventure by creating a YouTube channel and posting content on it. So the first thing I'd like to address here is the following question. What is the purpose of the project? And well, it's a complex and very ambitious project. Um, I consider myself an artist and I like to build an audience for my heart. The fact is, I'm a musician, I'm a writer, uh, and I'd love to become a video game developer and eventually uh, to get into videos and even films. One very important thing I'd like to say here, uh, because it's something that's going to define a lot of the shape of the travel projects, uh, is that I've already tried to launch myself on Instagram and TikTok, since uh, that's, what, that's what everyone says to do on YouTube to launch your art project. The fact is, I've tried, I've had some success, uh, I have some TikTok that have over 1,000 views and I have around 1,500 followers on Instagram. The thing is, I hate doing this. I'm sorry if you like TikTok and Instagram videos, but I think they're too ephemeral, uh, like content for immediate consumption, lasting only a few seconds and fighting to all people's attention lifespan as long as possible. In short, content that I made strategically to gain an audience that could potentially go to subscribe to my YouTube channel, a method uh, that I found superficial, absurd, and didn't interest me at all. However, my aim here isn't to criticize short-form content, even if that could be the subject of a future video, but rather to make it clear that this kind of content isn't for me at all, and that I'd rather offer you longer and, above all, deeper content, and that we live something bigger and higher together on this channel. And I don't give a damn about trying to find success easily, even if there, there were five of you uh, who liked what I do, that would be enough, as long as what I do means something for someone. Then I've done my job. I'd rather make a video for five people who actually listen to me than for 1,000 people who will instantly forget that I ever existed, which is uh, the case uh, on TikTok a lot of times and for a lot of people. And even if nobody were to listen uh, to this video, well, that would be okay because in the future people will probably see it. And even if nobody sees it in the future, at least I would have created something. And yesterday I happened to see a video on a channel I didn't know uh, from a guy called Neat on the Rocks, called You Should Be a YouTuber or Artist or Creator, who basically said that it was a good time to get started on YouTube because it was possible, even if difficult at first, to gain an audience related to your subject of interest by talking about what you like. And I like rock music, uh, I like independent video games, so why not give it a try. I'd like to thank this guy for giving me the courage to officially launch my project uh, and I heartily recommend you to go listen to his excellent video. You know, it's not a lot, it, it's just uh, uh, some Dead Cells uh, video gameplay with me talking over it, but that's, that's a start. So who the fuck am I? My name is Mid Pesito. I'm 19 years old and I've been obsessed with this project for over four years now. And yes, I'm going to talk more about the project in a few minutes. But first, I've got a couple of important things to explain. I'm about to go to law school at Sherbrooke University in Quebec. Uh, yes, by the way, I live in Quebec. That's why I have a big French accent. But I also want to get started on this big project I've been working on for a long time, even if there's a lot of time between releases and not many people are watching at first. Uh, you know, at this stage, it's a must. So, many people would legitimately ask me uh, why I would undertake such demanding studies as law if I wanted to become an artist. Uh, well, there are several answers uh, I've given myself. Uh, firstly, my family had always been very supportive of my studies since I was young and will be paying several thousand dollars uh, to me. Uh, so I go to college. So there's a part of me that would feel guilty if I didn't do it for a project that uh, for the time being and probably for several years to come would give me nothing financially. Secondly, law is a field of study that sincerely interests me and that I could 
I've chosen even without all the other advantages it brings, which are which, which are as follows. Many influential artists were lawyer or studied law before becoming artists. You know, it's not a really good reason, but it's a reason that I like very much. Uh, artists such as Kandinsky, Moliere, Stravinsky, or Paul Simons. Uh, it's a field that allows me, in Canada at least, to easily reorient myself in other fields if I ever change my mind. It's a field that can give me access to contacts and finally, it's a field that can give me access to well-paid jobs, uh, which could be quite useful for financing my project if need be. Uh, at least more effective than a minimum wage job that I could have without uh, studying law. The fact is that I don't give a damn about money. I could live in a one uh, and a half bedroom apartment uh, all my life and eat mac and cheese. My goal in life is really to become an artist, not to make money. That's my dream and so many people fail to become artists and I don't want to be part of them. But today it's a fact that there's a very commercial dimension to art, which I personally dislike, but I don't want money to be a barrier to sharing my art if it ever should be. So you can guess that my first goal is to build an audience for my heart. My second is to carry out the projects I have in mind. And thirdly, my ultimate dream to, would be to be able to make a living from it. To have art make me enough money to quit my job as a lawyer and devote myself to full time. Um, and that for me would be absolutely mind blowing. Okay, well, so the next section is going to be divided into two complementary points. Uh, firstly, what do I want to do on my YouTube channel? And secondly, what is the travel project? So as I said earlier, I consider myself as a musician, writer and everything, and I like my YouTube channel to be the centerpiece of my project, a rallying point where I can publish everything uh, so that my subscribers and fans uh, don't miss out on anything. The videos to be released on the travel will cover several categories of videos as follows. So number one is music, I'm talking about music tracks, music clips, music videos, um, and even videos containing my complete albums available completely for free on YouTube and probably uh, Spotify eventually. So number two will be the uh, essays and analysis videos. So uh, I'll be re releasing videos explaining my project, where uh, songs or other projects. I also like to put out video essays on various subjects that interests me, um, like uh, video games, music, politics, and culture in general. Uh, and I might even do series about them. It sounds like a fun and a good uh, way of gaining subscribers, even if it's a bit uh, of a departure from the core of the project. And number three, it's simply uh, some announcement and teasers uh, for future projects. Now, uh, we come to the travels project. Um, and I'd advertise you to be well prepared because I think it's going to be complicated to explain. The travel is a multimedia project, as you know, containing music, texts or poetry, uh, video games, and maybe even videos or web series. The originality of the project lies uh, in the link between all these medias. You see, travelism works in cycles, just like the cycles in the works of Albert Camus. Uh, if you don't understand what I mean, that's normal, so let me explain. A cycle is a set of works all having the same theme, in my case, the same story. I'd like to make cycles containing, for example, the music album, a video game, and a piece of writing that all tell the same story but from a different perspective. Tying it all together in well-crafted ARGs and mysteries to create the most ambitious works that a single creator could ever have. A few words on the subject. Firstly, it won't be easy at all. Uh, the time between releases may be long, uh, at least at first, and the technical quality may be lower uh, than the professional standards. And when I say that, I mean um, that it could uh, have a fairly indie tone, you know. Um, and it's normal that uh, the project could go wrong at first, and I'm asking you to trust me and give me time uh, to improve what I do. I've been training tirelessly for several years now to achieve this. Uh, the main reason why I didn't take the plunge sooner is that I was creating, creating, and creating again dozens and dozens of songs, uh, scripts, concept. Uh, I learned how to edit videos, uh, how to film. Uh, I even learned how to make amateur video games. And I believe that I have a solid foundation uh, to launch the project on a technical level. On the other hand, uh, as for the ideas, I've had years to cogitate all this in my mind. I have a lot of ideas uh, for work that I've had uh, time to develop and I have enough to make uh, something that will, I believe, be original and interesting for you guys. The narrative universe I've been trying to form all this time is very personal and conceptual in its theme and ideas. Uh, there are works that will be authentic and sometimes uh, very emotionally charged, at least if I manage to convey well what I'm trying to convey. 
talking about money. Uh, as I said earlier, pretty much all my music is going to be available everywhere for free, uh, as well as for all sorts of other content uh, I'll have made, like uh, the video games. The thing is, apart from YouTube money, I couldn't simply make a living out of it unless I had several hundred thousands uh, subscribers, which isn't in the card at all for the moment. So how can I generate a profit for my channel? Well, it's quite simple, Patreon. And no, uh, now I'm not going to get down on my knees and whine for you to subscribe to my Patreon or tip me on tippy. Uh, the way I see it is that Patreon is a way for fans who believe in my project and who want to support me to do so, giving me an opportunity to get access to content earlier and have some little exclusivities. The fact is, I want people to pay uh, for my Patreon to buy my games and pay for my albums, even if it's free, because they connect on a spiritual level with, with what I'm doing, not because I like them with every video to like, subscribe, like again, comment, to give free tips uh, on TP and subscribe to uh, my, the tier tree uh, of my Patreon. And if I don't make a single dollar uh, from that, well, that's 100% my problem and my fault. Uh, it's 100% my fault um, that what I'm doing isn't good enough for people to be interested in it and to be willing to give uh, me uh, some money voluntarily for it. My job at this point uh, is to give everything I've got to do the best work that I can to pass something on. The money will come when I've earned it, and that's an idea that I really like. By the way, uh, I've already put the Patreon link in my description if you ever want to support me. Otherwise, you'll always be free to pay for my future games um, instead of pirating them, and you'll always be free to buy one of my albums on Bandcamp even if you continue to listen to my music on the Spotify. The, the fact is that everything you buy from me is more like a donation, you know? You have no idea how grateful I'll be if you do, because I sincerely believe that it's an act of immense generosity and support, and my art can never thank you enough for it. That was Med Pesito, and I'll see you in a new video from The Travel.